What's up, family? It is your boy, Lonnie, and uh, listen, this is your Get It Done Mindset of the Day, the first one for 2020. I want to touch and agree with you, first of all, that 2020 has the potential to be the greatest year of your life. You have spoken it. You have done New Year's Eve services. You've done resolutions. You've done uh, first fruits, all of that kind of stuff to make sure that you are in a good place for 2020. But I want to give you a, a little bit of a sobering side of what that looks like, because for many of you, 2020 will not yield what you think it's going to yield. It will not give you the blessings and the favor that you are looking for in 2020. Many times when we say the words 2019, 2018, 2017, it's at the top of that year that we call that year a great year. 2018 was the year of miracles, 2019 was the year when everything was supposed to pop off for you, and here we are at 2020 at the top of another year, and you are saying how great this year is going to be for you. Yeah, I want to touch and agree with you, but there's something you have to know, all right? The year that is assigned to that number has nothing to do with your blessing and your favor. Yeah, just because the year number changes does not mean anything changes as it relates to you. You are the catalyst of change that will make 2020 great, all right? Now, this is the thing you hear all the time at the top of the year. I'm getting rid of 2019. I'm getting rid of bad relationships. I'm getting rid of friendships. I'm getting rid of fake people. I'm getting rid of all the haters, all of that. Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. Now, this is what you run the risk of doing when you do that and when you say that. You are telling God that everything that he allowed you to go through, uh, you did not agree with. Not only didn't you agree with, you didn't think it was necessary, because now you want to just throw it out. Let me say this to you, family. That lesson that you learned in 2019, it was necessary for you to learn it, because the things that you're going to be faced with in 2020, you cannot face, face those challenges with the same responses. What you learned in 2019 shifted the way you respond to things that come to you like that. And you need to hold on to that. Hold on to that new you because that's what's going to make the difference between 2019 and 2020. It's not the number. You feel me? So if you know the word, you know that it says study to show yourself approved. If you didn't study in 2019 and you didn't study in 2018, and you're not going to study in 2020, you can forget about all of the great um, um, things that you're saying at the top of the, of the year about, about how you are claiming this and claiming that and naming this and naming that because it won't happen. You have to study yourself. You have to study the word to know what God has for you, know who he wants you to be and why he wants you to be that so that you can be more than the conqueror than you, that you are. You can do this, family. You can get it done. You really can. But if you go into 2020 doing it the same way you did it in 2019, the results in 2020 will look like 2019. Many of you made great strides in 2019, but those strides were for 2019. We are looking at a year with brand new mercies. That that you did back then, you can't come into this year doing the same thing, family. So I agree. I touch and agree with you that 2020 is going to be great for you. But the thing that's going to make it great, the thing that's going to make the change, the catalyst, is you.